ready for the dictation start being aggrieved the appellant ssc preferred an appeal before the commissioner of income tax the commissioner of income tax wide order dated 4/4 1988 partly allowed the appeal the appellant ssc and the respondent income tax department feeling aggrieved against the order of commissioner of income tax filed two separate appeals before the income tax appellate tribunal the tribunal by order dated 19 1993 without going into the merits of the case set aside the assessment order and remanded the file back to the assessing officer to re-scrutinize in the entire accounts after giving the appellant ssc an opportunity of being heard and also giving the appellant ssc an opportunity of filing any evidence in support of its claim that there was no discrepancy in its accounts as pointed out by the assessing officer or as found out by commissioner of income tax in his order dated 4/4 1988 on remand the assessing officer issued summons to 10 traders under section 1311 of the act in response to the summons five traders appeared and gave evidence in favor of the appellant ssc the remaining five traders did not appear because they could not be served with the summons as they were residing outside the state of up the assessing authority has drawn adverse inference against the claim of the appellant ssc and assessed rupees 230704 as total income for the assessment year 1984-85 treating the transaction with the absentee traders as having been done by the appellant ssc in the capacity of trader and not as commission agent the revenue filing agreed preferred an appeal before the income tax appellate tribunal the tribunal by its order dated 15 1 allowed the appeal and held that the appellant ssc has failed to produce any evidence that the transactions in question were not conducted by the appellant ssc as via pari but the transactions were conducted on commission basis being aggrieved against the said order the appellant ssc filed income tax appeal before the high court the high court as noticed above has concurred with the findings recorded by the assessing authority as confirmed by the appellate tribunal and dismissed the appeal in limine now the appellant ssc is before this court the learned counsel for the appellant ssc submitted that the high court has committed grave error of fact and law in dismissing the appeal in limine without proper appreciation of the facts and legal 
proposition of law according to him for non appearance of the traders some month by the assessing authority no fault could have been laid upon the appellant assessee and the assessing authority the appellate tribunal as well as the high court are not justified in drawing adverse inference against the appellant ssc holding it to be trader in relation to the transactions conducted by the appellate ssc of the same goods in the same manner as was conducted with the traders whose evidence was accepted by the assessing authority stop